mom's school tips. Really? So, um, Sonic is an awesome game. It's full of speed and energy, but it is a game. How do you prepare for 100 minutes of a character from a video game? Yeah, great question. In my head, I took the stuff that I learned when I was playing the video game when I was 10 years old, the idea of how fast he is, the attitude that he has, and then I read the script, and which is interesting for cool moms, that I saw him as like a little kid. When I read the script, I was like, you know what this is? This is an energetic kid that never got to do all the things that he wanted to do. And now he has the opportunity to go do whatever he wants and have fun. If I can bring the emotion and the energy that a little kid feels, um, and you know, the anger, and maybe even not knowing how to express his emotions yet, I was like, I think people can relate to him a little bit more, and then the jokes will hit a little bit better, or maybe the comedy will hit a little bit better. So that's how I tackled it. Exactly. He is lonely and he makes the best out of his circumstances. He yep. can play on his own. Yep. He, you know, he's dreaming of something else, but he's making the best out of his situation. Yes. Um, what is your message or what is the takeaway you hope kids will take from after watching the movie? Well, one of the big things I think that I, that, that I took away from it made me happy is that if you think about it, Sonic is an alien from a different place that feels strange to everybody else, maybe James Marsden. And so, and he wants to be friends with James Marsden at the beginning because they're from two different cultures. James isn't sure. And then slowly they learn from each other. You know, they really care about each other. And because they become a team, that's when they're the most powerful. When these two different cultures, you know, come together and as a team help each other out. And I love, uh, I love that idea. And I love that idea that children are watching this and maybe seeing that and understanding that. And that leads into my next question. Oh, I'm helping you out so <laughs> you're much. You're amazing. You're amazing. Let's, oh, my goodness. Can you come back next week again? Yeah, of course. I'll so, do whatever movie you're doing. What's next week? I'll be in Top Gun. I don't wonderful. care. I love it. Extrapolating from the movie, there's a lot of inclusion and representation. I mean, Sonic is from a different planet yeah. altogether. Um, so can you talk a little more to that effect as how they come together, how they become a team? Yeah, so how Sonic and Tom, James Marsden's character? Considering inclusion, representation, yeah, maybe I think, I think, uh, topics a little more heavy. It is, yeah, for, for, for this uh, especially, and like what I said, it's, so Sonic is from a planet called Mobius in the video games. We don't really talk about what planet it's from mm -hmm. and uh, he's from in this, but um, the idea that he does come there, and at the beginning, it shows that people are scared because they don't know what this is and they don't understand and they don't take the time to learn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They make a flash decision. But the idea that maybe this culture is taken from a different culture, you know, like this culture of James Marsden's, sees this thing from a different planet and immediately isn't scared and instead wants to learn about it and wants to absorb whatever this person enjoys and teach each other so they can kind of, you know, that's, that's the idea of what it is uh, to be, you know, friendship and stuff like that and me I grew up in uh, Riverdale in in the Bronx and was lucky enough to be around a series of different cultures and was always around that my whole life but um, I know that maybe some people may not have the opportunity to do that so this may be a fun thing to just teach people how nice it would be beautiful mm. um, on a lighter note it's full of one liners I didn't help with your transition I'm so sorry <laughs> you did you did no you just, I didn't I didn't I didn't I'm so sorry <laughs> um, the movie's full of amazing wine liners, mm -hmm. funny and heartfelt. Oh, great. Can you share your favorite with us? Oh, um, you know, one of the ones, I'm not sure it's my favorite, the one that stuck with me is so at the very beginning, uh, we did a test for this movie, mm -hmm. which means we shot a five minute short just to see if any studio would want to buy it. This is before anybody wanted to buy it. And so they asked me to do the voice for it. And in that, I improvised a ton of stuff. One of them is, uh, one of them was, what year is it? Is The Rock president? And uh, it was right when The Rock was talking about maybe he was going to run for office, whatever, years ago. <laughs> and so uh, that really stuck out to me because then when we did the movie, they're like, oh, we love all this improv stuff. Can we just take it from that test? Use, can we use you here? And so that line has been around for two and a half years because it was in a thing that didn't even, the movie wasn't even real yet. So I love that because it reminds me of like all the journey we made from the very, very beginning test to now the final oh, product. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Lovely for your to meet time. you. Wonderful to meet you as oh, well. Oh, please. Thank you. Cassie, let's take some pictures. Yes, thank you.